economically, how they enslaved every person economically. This is what the part we Muslims should understand. You see, in the Middle Ages or in 16th century, there were the family by the name of Rothschild, Rothschild or Rothschild, whatever the way you pronounce. That person was having five children. And this Jew, whenever he was trying to do something, collecting money or, you know, saving money, the people around him, they rob him. And he was living in the ghetto. And he realizes that money is the most powerful thing which, which we can use against these people. And we can control this Europe. He was not having the minds of Muslim that time. He was thinking how to get rid of this ghetto and in diaspora that the way they were being stampeded. That whole thing he wants the solution to come out from that misery. So he was collecting money and every time something happens and he was the full, you know, he was having full greediness over the money and he wants to capture that money and somehow he find many other ways. One day he realizes the only way we can save this money is to open the banks. So he realizes and when he saves money, he said, that's the way we are gonna use it for our future generation. He called all his five children, sons and he, and he gave them instructions each son to open one bank in one part of the Europe. One in Frankfurt, another is in France, in Paris, and then another is somewhere else, maybe Switzerland, and many, many places in Europe. And that was the starting time when the Jews started banking system. They controlled the monetary system by creating monetary promissory notes. They took the gold of the people and they gave them intrinsic value on the paper, which is like we call it promissory notes, which has no worth, no value. And they created the whole system. They bind that system into another system and then they created capitalism. This capitalism was created in the Jewish mindset. We call it the system where the money prints or brings another money. Brings like money catches the money and the main integral value or the bone marrow or the blood in the arteries was riba, usury interest. That is why they got separated from the Pope because Pope forbade the use of usury and interest in the entire Europe. And that was the time they realized we have to be separated from them. Otherwise, this Pope won't let us do anything. And that is the time when they started having usury and interest in the system. Give people, show them the dreams. If they don't buy anything, dreams, then two of the empires, they fund both of the empires on the different consternation level. And then they give them another money. The other party also money and then they take interest values from both of them and let them fight. So they promoted French Revolution at the same time, they're also promoting British against them. This is the clever games they played in the history and that's they become rich and rich and the control of the money in their hands. Now, even today, the dollar bill is under who? Who's controlling that? Federal Reserve Banks, the Jewish people. That is why in America, you cannot be a president without crossing the David's maze. And that means that you have to cross the David's maze to be elected as a president. There is no vote for you unless you are not the supporter of Israel. This is a very long perseverance. And after that, all this ordeal, man, do you think that they're going to give you any latitude? They will not give you any latitude. It is not one day job. This has been going on for many, many centuries. Their patience their sacrifices, they lost many, many things in the past. And now they come to this stage that they will not tolerate anyone. They will ignite you forever. And this is what's happening right now.
the potential of hatred inside their hearts is because of the long terms of ordealment. But the point is that the, who did this all? The Christians, they did it to you, not us. Then why we? Then why us being humiliated and being targeted now? Because the reason is spiritual evilness. Allah said the Jews are never for you. Never. They will never like you because they are racist. You guys are racist. You have a racial creed. You have evilness inside your hearts and you don't even spare your prophets. This is the reason. It is all the kibber. The first sin with Satan did it. Ana khairu minhu. I am better than this human. This is what all you have adopted. So you are the first pioneer recipient of Satan's evilness. Now they control everything, Hollywood, the movies, the media, the talks, the whole things, the food chains to the business, to multi-billion businesses and capitalism they enforced on it. Das Kapital and uh, Karl Marx, Frederick Engels, they wrote it against the communism thing that was also funded by them. These were Jewish, Jewish mindset. Then they both World War One and Two happened because of all these games and manipulations. And at the end, who was the advantage? Who got the advantage at the end? Benefits? Jews. They got the land. And now they are struggling around here and there and doing whatever they want. Even today, I'm, I'm shocked that after killing 30,000 children, innocent children and women and infants, he's still saying that if any one country dares to say anything to us, we will take full revenge. There is no shame in them. This is what they're all doing for many, many years. Anyways, this was my lecture about socio-political economic system of the Jews and this is what they're doing it. Now all, if you lump together, they control hold the monetary system, the gold in their hands and the Rockefeller, they control the oil. Both are in their hands, the superpowers. That's why they are under their claws. And this is what Alama Iqbal says, Frank ki rage jai panjai yehud mein hai. The Franks are under the claws of the Jews. So you can't do anything. The greatest empire of French people, they are under the claws of the Jews. Charles de And now all the Charles de is under the Jews' claws, even today or yesterday or tomorrow. The only way will come when Jesus Christ will come and Imam Mahdi will come. Inshallah, that the time they know that, they know their future, that their future is not in their hands. But the time, as I'm ending with this, Prophet said in the Hadith, and the time will come, even the stones will cry. The Jew is hiding behind me. Get him, get him, get him, O oh, Abdullah. Get him, even the stones will cry. That day, they know it will gonna come. But when it will gonna come, it is the time factor. But time factor doesn't mean that we sit like that and getting killed and enjoy our lives. It is what we are accountable for. And then what they are doing, they are accountable for. So nobody is getting scot-free.